Hello guys, so I tell like it is. In this video, I'm going to give you my prediction for March Madness. A West Coast team will finally win for the first time in quite some time. Uh, 20 years, 20 in Dumatri equals 107, and championship drought equals 107. Juve won in the year 1996. But I'm going to explain to you why UCLA is going to win March Madness and why it was really significant for UCLA's landmark victory over number one Kentucky during the month of December and why that game is a huge revelation that UCLA is going to end the drought. It will be about the number 12. So first and foremost, the last time that an NCAA tournament was hosted at the West Coast, the last time a Final Four was hosted in the West Coast, it was played at the Kingdome at Seattle. And yes, that was the last time that UCLA won the national championship. UCLA currently has 11 titles. Notice that UCLA would win their 12th title. And guess who won his latest Super Bowl? A Tom Brady. Number 12, UCLA winning their 12th national title after the Super Bowl. And that is really significant. I did the date duration between that time, a time span of 58 days. That's significant for the Masons that rig sports. Freemasonry equals 58, the amount of time between number 12's latest Super Bowl win and UCLA's 12th national championship. The year 16 and 17. Really significant this season of sports. That equals 33. Masonry equals 33. And this is all significant for Freemasonry. The year 1617 is all about Freemasonic tributes. Now, the year 2017 has a year numerology of 37. It's going down to the Gematria calculator. UCLA equals 37. Los Angeles equals 37. One of the star players on UCLA, Lonzo Ball, he equals 37. Now, this national championship is going to be held at Glendale, Arizona. A no home final for the University of Arizona. I believe the University of Arizona will win next year when DeAndre Ayton finally suits up for U of A next year. We may see a, a, quite a bit of dominance out on the West Coast for basketball during these next couple of years, including this year. UCLA wins it all, equals 48. And Arizona in Gematria equals 84. The reflection of 48, where the final is going to be played at. Uh, for business reasons, this is a good market to have UCLA win. It's not that far of a drive from uh, Southern California to Glendale, Arizona. This would be good for the ticket sales and whatnot. Now, UCLA had a major, major, major victory at the time over number one Kentucky. This is a key foreshadowing that UCLA is going to win the national title. Notice that UCLA was ranked number 11. They currently have 11 national titles. And notice that UCLA scored 97 points. The reflection of 97 is 79, and champion in Gematria equals 79, interesting enough. Now, UCLA's uh, season Wikipedia page for 2016 2017 did not mention the season that they're in, but this is also UCLA's 98th season. Champions equals 98. Both numbers are really significant. Notice that the Chicago Cubs won the latest baseball championship. And we're having spring training at the same time of March Madness, by the way. This is going to be really significant, right? The Cubs, right? Baby Bears won the World Series, right? A Bruin is also a bear. So there is a Cubs tribute to UCLA. Spring training right now for the defending World Series champions. The UCLA Bruins win it all. Chicago Cubs both equal 91. Now, going back to UCLA's upset victory over Kentucky, UCLA scored 49 points in the first half. Revelation equals 49. They scored 48 in the second half. UCLA wins it all, 
equals 48. Going to the recap is also really significant. The headline, grab your attention right away. Notice how UCLA ended the 42 game home winning streak for Kentucky. This was completely rigged and scripted game by the numbers. Once again, 16, 17 season, 33, masonry, 33, highest degree of masonry. But the number 42 in this 16, 17 season is really, really significant. Freemason equals 42. The site of the national championship, Glendale, Arizona, equals 42. Now notice that UCLA is going to win their 12th title this year. 12 equals 87. Glendale, Arizona equals 87. That's no coincidence. I already mentioned that. Freemasonic tributes. Number 12 wins the Super Bowl title. UCLA wins their 12th title. Also Tom Brady's from California and UCLA obviously located at California. A key tribute right there. Now, the amount of time between the day of UCLA's upset over Kentucky, the 3rd of December of 2016, the day of the national championship, April the 3rd. Also, uh, UCLA's last na national title was played on April the 3rd of 1995. That's really significant also. I want the year 2017. The amount of time between UCLA's upset victory over Kentucky and the day of the national championship, behold, 121 days. A really, really key number. Revelation in Gematria equals 121. These Masons and Zionists rig and script sports by the book of Revelation. This would be a revelation that UCLA is going to become a championship team. They beat Kentucky, the team with most of the national championships right now, most of these recruits. Well, I guess Duke is probably at a similar level. Now, John Wooden is also a key tribute. John Wooden was born on the 14th of October of 1910. And the day of UCLA's upset over Kentucky, the amount of time between UCLA's upset over Kentucky and the 14th of October is a time span of 106 years, one month, 19 days, the one month and 19 days is really significant. That forms a 119. UCLA's first season was back in uh, 1919. These fucking sk skateboards at campus. Campus are so fucking annoying. I'm at campus right now. It's fucking pissing me off even at the nighttime. Uh, okay, so UCLA's first victory of the season against Pacific, they scored 119 points. This number is very really significant for Masonry and Zionism. Master Plan, Star of David, All Seen Eye, right? The Illuminati, the Zionists, that rig sports, 119 was significant. Back to John Wooden, 106 years, one month, 19 days. So one month and 19 days forms a 119, 106 years old. John Wooden, if he was still alive. Prophecy in Gematria equals 106. Glendale, Arizona, the final, and the Bruins both have 44 coded into them. Now, notice that the last major basketball championship was won by the Cleveland Cavaliers back in June 19 of 2016. The next major basketball championship in America, UCLA would win. The Bruins win it all, equals 216. That's also Cleveland's area code. Back to Tom Brady. Tom Brady was born on August the 3rd, 8-3. Bruins equals 83. University of California, Los Angeles Bruins, and Arizona both have that 84 once again. UCLA Bruins win it all and winner of the 2017 Final Four. I believe that's no coincidence that that has 76 code into it. In revenge equals 76. Now, I'd have to quickly go down and see who would... Uh, who they would get revenge against. Let's see, Florida, I don't think they're in this tournament. They wouldn't play them again. Let's see if UCLA lost any other finals. Louisville, they lost too. Huh, so maybe we, we could see Louisville in there. I'm not sure about that yet, but if the 76 holds any significant revenge, then it could be Louisville that they play in the final. That's the only time that they lost a championship game was to Louisville. UCLA, interesting enough. Now, UCLA 
with a victory would win 28 games during this regular season. And 28 in Gematria equals 156. Alford, Bryce Alford, a senior point guard for UCLA. His dad is the coach, Steve Alford. The Alfords will be significant. Alford equals 56. UCLA wins it all, and UCLA wins their 2017 Final Four. Both have that 156, as well as 28, the amount of wins that UCLA would win during the regular season. Also, really, really significant. But this, this looks like, well, okay. One more thing I have to say. Huh, maybe the amount of time between uh, playing uh, U of A on the road, uh, a victory, the book of Revelation equals 77. You know, I, I should quickly check that out. Well, the first thing I have to say is UCLA, for basketball reasons, is a good team to predict. You see the point distribution. It's really, really even. So a team that has to rely on a key player all the time, if he has a bad game, then the team goes down. But you're talking about basketball. We're talking about team ball. You see the starting five for UCLA. They score a lot of points. They share the ball a lot. Let's say if Bryce Alford has a down game. Well, you have four other guys that have scored double digits this year. So this is a really, really deep UCLA team. If Robert Bradshaw is going to comment on this video, what not, this guy knows all the college basketball. Yeah, I, I, he, he thinks Villanova may, may win, but I'm really high on Kentucky in the 42 and, and knocking off Kentucky. Oh yeah, for the number 28, December the 3rd, when UCLA beat Kentucky. 28 days remaining until the year. These are really, really key tributes for that. Now I want to do one more thing on the date calculator. You know, the last UCLA game at the state of Arizona, they defeated U of A. I just need to see the amount of time between February the 25th and the day of the national title game. This is pretty much the end of the video. Now, interesting that Trump equals 88, and I believe, you know, California equals 88, Trump equals 88, so this is going to be a big year for California teams and Donald Trump's uh, first year of his presidency. Okay, so April the 3rd, February the 25th, let's see. Behold! 37 days, once again, on doing that on the spot. UCLA, Los Angeles, Lonzo Ball, a high draft pick equals 37. 2017 equals 37. One month, 19 days. Uh, UCLA would make it to their 19th Final Four this year. This is all scripted by the numbers. Five weeks, two days. Prophecy equals 52. UCLA is going to win this rigged and scripted national title game. I guarantee you that. This is all about the West Coast this year. Gonzaga, once again, frauds, they're going to fail to win. It's all about UCLA. They're the best team in the West Coast. They'll be the best team in all college basketball. All about the Kentucky tributes, John Wood and whatnot, 37 in Arizona tributes. 